Two Birds, One Stone by Soft Girls and Boys Club. Welcome to another Music Future session, doing our best to showcase another amazing up and coming Nottingham artist. Filmed at our new home here, Metronome. We have an interview on the way with the band first, another song. Ben, let's start with the uh, kind of once upon a time. Let's start with the story of how you guys got here. So you're Melton lads, yeah. moved on mass to Snenton, yeah, and then spread across the city in the Shire. Yeah, so it was we're from majority of us from Melton. Uh, Luke's from Leicester. Uh, we all sort of Luke moved over here. We all moved over here into Snenton. Uh, so you literally did the Beatles thing all in one house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and survived. Yeah, there was only four of us, Luke, Luke with his uh, lovely lady. Uh, but yeah, we, we just about survived. Uh, and then we sort of, we had to move out. Someone bought the flat, so. We Very all, selfish of them. We all dispersed, I now live upstairs. <laughs> Let's talk about the music. How do your songs evolve? Uh, we'll write the music first, uh, as opposed to thinking about any lyrics, and then we'll just sort of <laughs> make the lyrics fit, or write lyrics specifically for it. Uh, it would normally just start with like an idea and uh, either myself or Tommy or Sam will have an idea. Uh, we'll lay it down and just sort of contribute together and see what we can come up with. Uh, it just sort of evolves from there. Has the way your songs um, evolve changed since you stopped living together? Because I guess when you're living together you go, yo, I've got an idea, <laughs> Potts Brothers, get here, and start working on it straight away. Whereas now uh, <laughs> you've got at least jump in an Uber, it's not... Does, <laughs> <laughs> Help spontaneity quite as much? Uh, to, to some extent, yeah. I mean, it, it is well handy just to sort of, like you say, just knock on a door and be like, dude, check this out. But, yeah. you know, everyone's got Dropbox, so it's <laughs> still pretty doable. What have been your favourite gigs with the band in, in Nottingham so far? Uh, we've had some really good support slots. We've actually been lucky enough to support a lot of bands that we listen to anyway. So... I think we supported uh, Sunflower Bean at uh, Rescue Rooms. Rooms yeah. it's, it's always good to play Rescue Rooms. Uh, Willie J Healy, we are massive fans. Absolutely love the guy. Uh, Gengar, um, all these all these bands that we love, that we listen to, it's just makes it a little bit better. So if we had the music genie with us today, and you could rub him, yeah, and say, music genie, please make this happen, what would it be? Would it be stepping out to a sold out Rock City? Would it be going to America to some cool studio to work with some 
random artists that no one else has ever heard of, but you've been listening to on Late Night or Six Music since you were 15? I think it would be, I think perhaps, yeah, maybe like a, a US tour would be great. I think maybe recording or working with some of the guys that we listen to a lot. People like Kevin Parker, Tame Impala, uh, Ruben Nielsen from Unknown Mortal Orchestra. Mm. Maybe just sitting down and writing with people like that would be the dream. You can find out more about Soft Girls and Boys Club online and you can check out all our previous future sessions at our YouTube channel, Feel the Music. If you're a musician yourself, our musician advice videos are up there too. We end, as always, by spreading some love. Please, Ben, your three favourite Nottinghamshire artists we should all check out. Uh, I would say Vega Bay, those handsome boys. Uh, Do Nothing, probably my favourite band ever. And uh, I'd say Jimmy Mack slash Black Mustard, which is his new project with lovely Alice. Yeehaw!